Hyrule Warriors was an unexpected gem for me in 2014. I was expecting to enjoy it, go through the story, and probably never come back to it again. But I ended up going back to it, and each time I went back, I put another 10 or so hours into my game time. What caught my attention most in that game was the story, well, and the, um, over-the-top action, if you will. Um, but the story was, I found it really, um, fun, but it wasn't really anything to write home about. Um... But it did had a few things that made it stand out in the franchise. Particularly a plot twist involving Lana and Sia. No, no, wrong Sia. There you go. But anyways, after Hyrule Warriors sold 1 million, I think we're at like almost 3 million now, um, Koei Tecmo, uh, expressed interest in doing a Pokemon Warriors or uh, Mario Warriors and that got me thinking if Koei Tecmo decides to go back and do uh, another Hyrule Warriors these are just some of the possible storylines I think they could do in The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword at the very beginning of the game we hear about a great war that originally sealed demise away and drove Hylians up to Skyloft if done correctly I believe that this could be an excellent story and I would love to see it go all creative on like the first Hyrule Warriors that was more so a love letter to the Legend of Zelda franchise I think Hyrule Warriors should be used as a means to expand the Zelda lore speaking of the Zelda lore it's pretty deep as is and I just think it could be flushed out in other means than video games Something that crossed my mind while brainstorming was making a Hyrule Warriors game with the period of Ocarina of Time when Link was asleep and Zelda was trained to be Sheik. Then I thought, nah, it would be much better as something closer to the original Zelda game, and quickly dropped the idea. But then, a little while later, I had another thought that popped up in my head. Ganondorf was taking over the kingdom while Link was asleep and Zelda was training. I'm sure the Hylian army did not go down easy. The player could play as a commander or a common soldier destroying the Hylian armies. I don't think the concept of destroying a Hylian army or taking down Ganondorf could last a full $60 game. So I think the game would have to jump right into the heat of the battle, do six missions with the Hylian army, and do six missions with Ganondorf. I would love to play a game like that. One more possible scenario could be that the Twilight People defending themselves from Zant. I have some interest in the Twilight People, but I'm not quite sure this idea would be good for a Hyrule Warriors game due to how quickly it seemed that the Hyrulean people went down in Twilight Princess. But there could be more to the story than I thought, and that's why I think it should be expanded. So these are just some directions that I would like to see how Hyrule Warriors series go. If this series continues, which as of E3 2015, yeah, I know, what a disappointment, uh, Nintendo has confirmed that the series is going forward uh, in the form of Hyrule Warriors Legends for the Nintendo 3DS, which I'm extremely excited for because I think that game is going to be fantastic on the go. I mean, it's fun to just pick up and play, do a few challenges on the Wii U, but I mean, on the go, on a car ride, um, just burning time, like on a train or a bus or whatever, it's going to be a blast, and I can't wait. I'll be picking it up day one for sure. But anyways, I'm the Rice Fish, and I'll see you guys in the next thing. It's, it's going to be a thing. Hey, you made it to the end of my video, thanks. Um, here's some other videos to watch for me if you enjoyed these. Um, the one on the top left is my Barbie Horse Adventures review, where I reviewed the game Barbie Horse Adventures. Kind of self-explanatory. And the one in the bottom right is my Gunman Clive review, which I, again, review Gunman Clive. Uh, you can click on either and enjoy. Have fun.